let's take a look at our results now. <clears throat> so I'm going to hold up and analyze each of the three samples and we'll talk about it. You'll get some pictures, but the pictures, the color change is not quite great with the cameras. So I'm going to talk about them as well. So sample A, I'm very surprised knowing the source of this sample that it has very little nitrogen in it. I would say now I'm, I'm, there's a color change here. And when you hold it up to the light, you can see it. And it is, in my opinion, it is deficient, almost depleted. So write that on your data for nitrogen. This is the potassium. And the potassium is a blue color. You can see from the back, it's a pretty nice dark blue. And when I hold it up to the color change, I can see that it is really nice and blue. I would say it's almost surplus. So very, very dark blue here. And then we have potassium. Hold that up to the light. It looks to me like it's sufficient. So write that down for potassium for sample A. And then the pH is very light on here. I would estimate that it is somewhere between 6 and 6.5 and maybe more like 6.5 is the pH, which is a nice pH for plants. Plants like it neutral or slightly below. So those are the results for sample A from your soil. Now let's do sample B. Sample B results very much surprised me. This time let's start with pH. I ended with that for sample A, but let's start with pH. This sample is darker than this one. It's a lighter color blue, uh, green than this is a darker green. It looks to be just about pH of seven to me, so pretty neutral. Then let's go to nitrogen. Now this was very surprising, but maybe not so much. This is very, very dark. And I would say that this is surplus on here. This is a very, very dark nitrogen. Surplus, a lot of nitrogen. So surplus means extra. Then we have phosphorus. So the phosphorus, the, I like to shake it up a little bit more because the phosphorus reagents don't like to dissolve very well. So I'm going to go ahead and let it dissolve a little bit. This phosphorus is a nice blue color, but it's not terribly blue. So I would say it's adequate in here. Our phosphorus is adequate. It could be close to sufficient, but I think it's more adequate. And then our potassium is low. When I hold it up to the light, I see it is depleted. So potassium is just a little bit yellow, but our water was yellow too, and there's very little color change, so it is depleted for potassium. So that is sample B. Sample C, let's start with pH. Now this is the darkest of the pH. It is 7.5, so it is slightly alkaline soil. The nitrogen is a good amount of nitrogen, not quite as dark as, as sample B. This is B, this is C. This one's slightly darker. This one is, in my opinion, I would say sufficient, maybe between adequate and sufficient when I look up at the light, uh, maybe more of sufficient here for um, nitrogen. Our phosphorus, again, the blue doesn't like to dissolve as well. So I'm going to shake up it a little bit, get some of the blue off the bottom here. And it looks to me to be adequate as well. It's a little low. And then this one, you have this orange color and it looks to be adequate to me as well. So that's right about the middle. So plot uh, soil sample C, the nitrogen is a little bit more like sufficient, but it's kind of on the border between adequate and sufficient, and these two are adequate as well. So 
it's kind of in the middle of, of the road. If we have our five numbers, we have depleted, deficient, adequate, sufficient, and surplus. And so adequate is right in the middle. So those are our results. And then I will have pictures of all of these side by side to compare which um, sample had the highest level of each of these four tests.